Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to make windows better with this simple tweak. Now, if you use windows for any a number of years, you'd know the right click context menu is pretty bland and there's not a lot of things you can do here. Now I get questions all the time about uh, this right click context menu and how you add certain features on it. One of them for windows 10 was how did I get the copy to path on the right click context menu like this? Well, it's always been there on Windows 10. It's just hidden. Uh, you have to right click and hold the left shift key down at the same time and it will suddenly appear on your right click context menu. On Windows 11, you don't have to hold the shift key. And there's plenty of other tweaks that you can add to this right click context menu, which I'll show you a bit later in the video. But first, let's see what this copy to path is. It's very useful and I can copy the path to any location that I right click and copy path from. So for instance, if I wanted to right click and copy the path from this test folder, it gives me quick access via the command prompt or via PowerShell or any of those items and get instant access to that location, which makes um, working in command prompt a lot more quicker. So as you can see here, we can get access to this folder and the contents inside of it via the command prompt by using that method. And this is not the only thing that you can add to the right click context menu, as I'll show you a bit later on. Let me show you how it works on other folders. For instance, this videos folder, you can right click and copy the path from here. Or maybe you want to go into the windows directory and get to this location uh, inside here very quickly in the command prompt and do some sort of work here. So I can right click here and I can literally copy the path from here and go to my command prompt and do change directory and paste right to that prefetch folder there. And then we can take a look inside there and do what we need to do. So that's how quick and easy it is to use that command. It's a very quick and easy one to use. And I do like that to be on the right click context menu, but in windows 10, you have to hold the shift key to get it down. Whereas if you use something like this tool here, this tool is a very useful tool for adding things to the right click context menu. So you don't have to hold that shift key down. It's called context menu tuner, and you can add whatever items you'd like to the right click context menu here. So let's go ahead and add some things to our menu. So the first one I'm going to do is a uh, copy path. I'm going to add it into the library section here. Make sure you select copy path and then add the selected item. And you can see it's been added here. So those two items have been added in and there's some other things, but let's just take a look at how that works now. So when I right click on it, I don't have to hold the shift key down and it gives me access to the copy path. And let's take a look at some other useful ones. Here. You've got cut, delete, uh, defrag, you've got a uh, format, you've got a bunch of other stuff on here, loads and loads of useful stuff that you can use on that right click context menu here. We've got the PowerShell with administration rights here. You also can add that in there as well. And there's a bunch of other bits on here like Mapper Network Drive, Open Command Prompt, Mount, and there's loads of others. So I'm just going to add some of these in for you so you can see uh, exactly how useful this is. And what this is going to do is allow you to up your productivity because you'll be able to access these items a lot quicker with fewer clicks. So right clicking and just clicking on it will give you quick access to it rather than jumping through a bunch of hoops to get to that location. So if you've never uh, customized your context menu, then have a good think about doing it because it really is useful and it's a great way of getting access to certain places very quickly. So you can see here, I'm just adding a bunch of stuff in here. You can add more or less depending on what you want to add to your context menu. And it just makes things a lot more easier to use. So you can see here, there's a bunch of other stuff in here. But I think they'll do for the amount that we're going to add here. So I'll just quickly put this down in the tray here so we can take a look at it. So if we right click now, you can now see we've got a bunch of useful stuff that we can use. And you can add more if you wish. But you can see we've got scan with uh, Microsoft Defender here, open settings, network and shared center. And you can see by using these, it just gives you quick access to these locations. So I do like using this uh, customization on Windows, especially uh, for productivity when you're doing stuff uh, is very useful. 
And someone did bring up in the comment section about this copy path and they wanted to know where it is in Windows 10. And this is how it's available on Windows 10. You can either hold the shift key down and it will appear or you can add it physically to the right click context menu like you see here. So it's always visible rather than holding the shift key down. So it's a pretty good uh, feature to have and there's plenty of other ones you can add here as well. So if you use the command prompt and PowerShell and these other locations, then these essential tweaks are very, very useful at speeding up your process uh, and making it a lot more easier to use. So let's go back into our context menu uh, tuner here, and I'll just give you a quick run through here of what's here. So there's quite a few useful ones, as you can see here. I do like the... Uh, uh, cut and paste you've got email there you've got a bunch of other ones you can add on there as well which do make things easier now just quickly show you the registry files that you can use and there's plenty of them available around if you do your research you'll see registry uh, edits that you can do if you don't want to use software why you'd want to do it this way i don't know it's a little bit long-winded but i just want to quickly show you here that it actually works so i'm just going to edit this so you can see the actual content inside of here and this is what's going to be added to the registry. And this will add the uh, copy to path uh, registry edit as well, if you didn't want to use that other method, if you just want the copy to path on the right-click context menu. So let's remove this uh, from the menu here. I'm just going to remove it. And uh, what we'll do, once we remove it, I'll just quickly test it and see it's now been removed. And what I'll do is I'll use the registry here to add it in. And I'll say yes to this to add it to the registry. And when we right click here now, you should see it's been added back to the to the right click context menu here without holding the shift key down, which is very useful for Windows 10. Anyway, let me know in the comments section below whether you use any sort of tweaking tool for the right click context menu and whether you actually tweak your menu yourself or whether you just don't touch it at all or you have no use of it. Personally, I think it's very, very useful and I think it's a necessity for Windows to make things a lot more quicker and easier to access things on the right click menu there rather than having to click the start button settings and go through that manner of things when you can just right click and access it that way. Anyway, with that said, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. I'll leave all the information and links in the video description. If you're interested in taking a look at this on your PC, remember if you're using it on your main system, to always take a system restore point just in case something goes wrong. And you can always restore back to that point uh, that you created on your system before you started tweaking with it. Anyway, with that said, I'm going to wrap this one up. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members groups. Your name are rolling up on the screen right now. And if you fancy joining our Discord server, the link is in the video description. I'll see you over there for a chat. Bye for now.